All right, chapter two is full of word problems. So here's one. A 20-foot piece of string is cut into two pieces. All right, so this one is not helpful because it does not give me a picture. So being the dork that I am, I'm going to have to draw a picture because I like to see them. All right, so here is my string. All right. Lovely, I know. All right, so here's my 20-foot piece of string. So I know the whole thing is 20 feet. All right. And it's cut into two pieces. Now, it's probably not going to be equal pieces, so I'm going to make my little cut mark right there. All right, so I'm cutting the string. So that the longer piece is five feet longer than twice the shorter piece. If the shorter piece is X, so here's my short piece, it's going to be X. Find the length of both pieces. Okay, so there's my short piece, it's X. The longer piece is five feet longer than twice the shorter piece. So twice the shorter piece is going to be 2X. Five feet longer than that means I have to add five to whatever I had. Okay. So the short piece is X. The long piece is 2X plus five. And I know that together they're going to get me 20. So my, my equation would be X, short piece, plus long piece, 2X plus 5, equals the whole thing, which is going to be 20 feet. Now I can simply just solve my equation. X plus 2X gets me 3X plus 5 equals 20. Then I have to subtract 5 from both sides. So that I get 3x is equal to 15, divide by 3, well x is equal to 5. Now here's where I have to be careful because I have to read the question. The question said find the length of both pieces. Well what does x represent? Well x represents my shorter piece. So the shorter piece is x and that means, so that means it's just 5 feet long. Well then the longer piece, though, was 2x plus 5. So I can just replace that x with a 5. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 5 is 15. So the shorter piece is 5 feet, the longer piece is 15 feet, and I can double check that. To, I want to make sure it ends up to give me 20. Okay? So I didn't have a picture, but I drew a picture so that it would help me be able to visualize what it was asking me. And then I just set up my equation and I solved for what I didn't know.